know, especially in the later years, you know, I think we would associate picking cotton as something that happened in like the early 1900s after slavery. So here it was, you were picking cotton in the 60s. Who was this cotton being picked for? Was it a particular company? Was it a neighbor? You know, I, we, you know I've always heard about sharecropping. You know, who was this cotton being picked for? Uh, uh, my dad, uh, he owned it, the, 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 well, he rented the land. Mm. Cotton was, uh, that was the biggest, from what I can remember, uh, thing that they had to, to get some money was when the cotton, a bale of cotton, uh, I think it was like, 1,600 pounds or something, mm. make a bale. Wow. That's and, a uh, lot of cotton. Yeah. And wow. uh, So, I picked, a, I picked a, a lot of uh, cotton. Uh, I couldn't barely pick over. I picked it 200 pounds several times, but I didn't. I didn't get much over 200 pounds. That's because my my dad. You had to. You couldn't put all that garbage in in your sack. You had to uh, pick a clean a clean cotton. So it wasn't no uh, bowls of cotton and all you had put in there. You had to pick just the, the cotton out of there. Wow. So, and just so I understand, you know, kind of from what I, I've heard about and read about with sharecropping, was it a case that your father rented the land from someone white and... Yeah. Okay. Okay. And so part of he rents the land. So does the cotton go to, uh, or does a portion of the cotton go to the white landowner or a no, lot no. of the portion or how did it work? He sold that cotton himself. Okay. And he gave, gave that guy the rent money. Mm. Uh, rent, rent the land. Uh, now I think we own some uh, a potion with somebody else for a year, but uh, my dad, uh, we work for him. Now, over the years, when we got through picking our cotton, then we could go out and pick cotton for somebody else. Mm. and uh, get some money but you figure three dollars a day was all you could make mm. dollar and a half for a half a day mm. but what I'm trying to say is Things were cheap back then. Yeah. Uh, you could buy a, a loaf of bread for ten cents. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I think a, a, a carton of these these knee high pops and and uh, RCs and Coca Colas. You could buy them. for a quarter mm. and now uh, it's, it's just it's strange how the prices then went up but the wages down here is not up mm.